Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the Sebastian Ajo contract that the Carolina Hurricanes have matched. I don't think he's technically signed it, but it's already on cap friendly. It's basically a done deal. He's all over the Carolina Hurricanes Instagram page and that he's coming back. So I'm going to do a video about it. So Sebastian Ajo signs for $8.45 million a year. And if you guys follow NHL discussion on Instagram, people were telling people were talking about how much is Sebastian Ajo worth, blah, blah, blah. It was rumored he wanted 10 mil. I thought that was crazy or that he deserves 10 mil. Uh, I said something like 7.5 at a low end to 8.5 at a high end. He signs just under 8.5, or maybe I said 8.2, something like that. But he signs right under 8.5 at 8.45 million dollars per year for five years um and i gotta be honest i really like this contract so if we go to sebastian ajo's stats he is a center he's a left he's a center he's a left-handed shot drafted in the second round 35th overall so a definite steal by all measures he's he's actually six foot i was under the impression that ajo was like 5'10 but i guess he's six foot he definitely looks shorter on the ice um but if we go to his stats over here and they're they sorry that took a little bit to load if we go to his stats we see in 2016-17 his first season he puts up 24 goals 25 assists the goals were definitely there the assists kind of weren't but they were still by by all means for a second rounder the assists are definitely there so he gets 49 points in 82 games a decent showing for sure definitely really promising guy and then we go in the 2017 18 season in 78 games he has 29 goals so those improve and that's good and 36 assists so that those improve that's good 65 points in 78 games definitely a really good player he's looking like a 25 goal scorer at this point again it's still too early to tell and in 2018-19 he gets that 30 goal that 30 goal mark which would kind of if you're going off the his season so far you would think he's probably a 30 goal scorer but in 18 19 gets 30 goals 53 assists for 83 points locks in the point per game 83 points in 82 games overall he's got 197 points in 242 games and at the age of 21 a player who just came off an 83 point season and led the team actually in the postseason in scoring signing him for 8.4 million in today's nhl is amazing I, I think this is a great contract i think the carolina hurricanes even if he let's say he has a down year quote unquote a down year and so let's say he regresses back to maybe that 65 70 point margin or area rather 70 points 8.4 million for a guy who puts up 70 points i think that's pretty fair i, I like that contract i know that there are guys uh, like a McKinnon or even like a Crosby has got an $8.7 million contract to consistently put up more than that for less money. But these guys are guys who either signed before they hit their, their ceiling as a player, or maybe they're guys who signed a long time ago and maybe took a hometown discount. I think you could argue Ajo left some money on the table. I know he got offer sheeted by the Canadians. Um, but he was restricted free agent. 8.4 million dollars a year i think that's a fantastic contract all in all i think the canes did really well uh, i think that's a team friendly contract for sure i think he could have signed for maybe and i don't know their cap situation but i think they got space i think they could he could have signed and he's got a lot of money and bonuses so he's this is a guy who just made 11.3 million dollars and then it tapers off towards the end but 8.4 million dollars i think this is a guy who left probably a million on the table maybe i don't know i think he definitely could have signed for nine million dollars or 9.2 even we all would have went okay sure i buy that and we look at his stats 49 points 65 points 83 points he's improved by probably around 15 points each season maybe 16 17 i don't know i'm not going to work out the math right now but he's improving steadily uh, by these numbers alone, it would suggest that next season, maybe he puts up 90 points. I think realistically, he probably puts up anywhere between 75 and 90, probably right around this 80 point marker again. But this is a guy who's putting up 83 points 
on a team like a Carolina. It's not like he has 80 points on an offensive dynamo like the Boston Bruins or the Pittsburgh Penguins or Toronto, and he's got he's got guys, or even the Lightning, where he's got guys like Kucherov, Point, Stamkos, Tavares, uh, Crosby, Malkin, Castle, all these guys to pass to and put the puck in the net for him to boost these assist numbers. He's playing on the Hurricanes. I think the Hurricanes are really well known for their defensive game and not so much their offensive game. With a guy like getting 83 points and being your leading scorer, that speaks for itself. Um, but a, a player comparison, because I like to do these comparisons for a guy who just signed for a very similar amount of money, is Matt Duchesne. Matt Duchesne, if we pull up his cap friendly, we see he's making $8 million a year for seven years, so a bit more term. So maybe he left some money on the table. Maybe he could have signed for 8.4 for five years like Ajo did. But if we look at his stats, he's never put up more than 70 points. He's got 70 points in Colorado, not a full season. And I know people are going to say not a full season, not a full season, not a full season. I think Duchesne is a bona fide 70-point player. He put up 70 here in this season. A little less here, but again, not a full season. This is a full season, a definite down year. This is a full season, maybe right in his wheelhouse, a full season 70. Half season 43 was almost point per game, probably would have been like a 75, 78 point season there. Uh, this season, he's got 28 and 58, a bit down. But this is a guy who, if you want my opinion, I don't think is worth as much as Sebastian Ajo and he signed for relatively the same amount of money so that being said let me know what you guys think did the hurricanes did aho leave a bit more money on the table is this a hometown contract what would you sign him at where do you like him at put it in the comments and i'll see you guys next time